Hi, I'm Zev Rowlett, and uh, I'm a teacher. Let's talk about my negative voice. Yes or no? Do you have a negative voice? Yes. Definitely. This one's not a very hard question. In what area of your life does your negative voice speak up the most? Uh, pretty much everywhere. <laughs> um, anything socially, whether it's romantically, um, professionally, with family, friends, um, even just my relationship with myself, there is a negative voice there. In its truest essence, what is your negative voice saying? Um, my voice says to me, other people are more important than me, um, and that no one cares about me, especially no one cares about me and my problems. The negative side of me is not important to other people. How do you feel and how do you behave when you listen to and accept your negative voice? Um, I feel unworthy and unimportant and unlovable when that voice talks to me. I feel alone. And my behavior starts to really reflect that. Um, when I feel unlovable, unworthy, I act it. I, um, I stop taking care of myself. I shut down. Uh, specifically, that looks like I stop shaving, brushing my teeth, um, washing my clothes, really basic things. I struggle getting out of bed. I isolate myself and I really shut down talking to other people. I don't answer calls. I don't answer texts. Um, I try to be alone. Um, and the flip side of that is when I do go out, when I am forced to leave the house to work, um, to do obligations that I can't get out of, I pretend to be happy and fine. Uh, when my voice says that no one cares about me and my problems, uh, I believe it. I don't want to burden you with my problems and my feelings because you don't care. Um, you're not really listening. Have you discovered any tricks to overcome your negative voice? Big one for me here is talking. Um, I see a therapist and I go to a, a support group to talk about these things. Um, they're obligations, they're people who care about me, who have to care about me. Um, and there are people who will reach out when they don't see me, um, who I feel really safe talking about the negative things that are going on in my head, in my life, and uh, they know that, and they still care about me and love me. Um, and there's some other basic little tricks I've come up with. I uh, take my medicine. <laughs> That's really important. My mind starts really deteriorating when uh, physically I am not doing what I need to. I, uh, I tell on myself. Part of this talking is talking honestly. Uh, when I'm having really negative, ruminating thoughts and worries, when there's a lot of guilt and shame going on, I force myself to tell other people that that is going on. Um, hiding it makes it so much worse. Um, I ask for reality checks, so I will let someone know, hey, um, what's going through my head right now is that you don't care about me, that you're reaching out to me because you have to, that you're coming and knocking on my door to bother me or to catch me. Um, am I right? And... That sort of gets reinforced because they will say, no, uh, that's crazy. You're wrong. I care about you. I love you. I am here to check on you, to see if you're okay, to support you. And hearing those things feels so good to combat and go against that voice in the back of my head telling me something different.
two other things that are really important for me. Um, not getting drunk or high. These were my ways of dealing with some of these thoughts and beliefs and this voice in the past. Um, you're not worried about whether other people care about you or um, who's important when your mind is just gone. Um, and I used to really self-medicate on that and uh, led me to some terrible places. Really let that negative voice take over. Um, so staying away from those things is key for me. Um, and at the end of the day, getting out of bed, doing things. Um, when I sit there and let that voice take over, uh, doesn't go so well. When I am up and moving and having plans, I feel better. So why did you decide to share your negative voice? Um, I'm doing this for myself. I, uh, I've always been someone who cared about others and how they were feeling, um, and sometimes that goes too far. I start caring about your feelings at the expense of mine, so if I don't want to make you uncomfortable, if I don't want to worry you, burden you with my feelings, that plays into this negative voice. Um, you're more important than me. Your feelings are more important than mine. Um, there's this assumption that you're going to react really poorly to hearing that I'm sad, to hearing that I feel fat. Um, you won't love me, and I need to challenge that. I need to put myself out there in a way to show that that's not true, to it's hard for me to talk about, so I'm, I'm really challenging myself today. And how do you feel when someone chooses to share their negative voice with you? This is a big one for me. Um, when I hear someone say these things that I'm saying today, I feel empathy and caring. Um, my connection and my trust is there. Um, it's huge to me that you are willing to say these things out loud, that you confide in me, um, and it speaks to the connection that we must have, the trust you have in me. Um, I feel blessed that you care about me enough to tell me about how you feel. Um, which, if you feel that same way about hearing me say these things, helps support this idea that my negative voice is wrong. Um, so again, I'm Zev, and this is my negative voice. Thank you.